Hi guys, I am Jamie and this is Batman and I wanted to talk about some things about LDN that I actually haven't previously addressed um, or I just feel like addressing again because I get these questions all the time and I see these questions in support groups so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do a separate video on my two-year update. Can't believe it's been uh, been about two years now that I've been on LDN so that will be separate. So uh, one thing to know about LDN is that it's very, very common to feel worse before you feel better. Uh, depending on what your illness is, um, your symptoms may be aggravated and um, like if you have uh, CFS or ME, you might have a crash. That might be the way it aggravates it. Um, if you have Lyme, it might feel like a Herx, um, although LDN doesn't actually kill Lyme. It may help your immune system strengthen so that it can kill Lyme. But, um, and also uh, another thing that should be included in this is that cutting out sugar should be really important, um, especially beforehand, because what I like to say is LDN stirs things up. So especially if you have candida issues already, um, that can, that gets stirred up a lot. So, and, and candida can cause a lot of symptoms. So, um, although sugar may seem like a mild issue, it can be a pretty big issue. So, uh, you know, with chronic illnesses, you want to stay away from sugar anyway. So that is definitely good to do. So just, just to expect that. Um, another thing about LDN that I want to address um, and this has like been really disappointing. Uh, there, there's been a, a LDN uh, group, and I'm just I'm gonna say what the group is because I think I think it's a bit damaging uh, what they do in this group. Um, so it's LDN Research Trust Group, and I did previously really like it, but there have been reports of when people talk about negative side effects, um, that the admin will delete the comment and ban that user. So um, this this group has a lot of people on it and um, it gives, it, it doesn't represent LDN accurately if, um, you know, everyone having a bad reaction, if, if they get deleted, not everyone, but I've, I've heard a lot of people lately have been messaging me and posting in other areas that they've been banned and they've been deleted because they had a bad reaction from LDN. And um, I don't, I don't like censorship. Um, I don't, I don't think that's the right way to go. So I did want to give a warning about that group because I did have that group in um, in my my descriptions before, and um, I'm not going to do that <laughs> anymore. So if you are in that group please know that's not an accurate representation of LDN. So going along that note, LDN, LDN is virtually harmless, virtually non-toxic, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily won't have a bad reaction to it. And there's a difference between the LDN um, modulating your immune system and, um, you know, maybe feeling a little bit worse before you get better, which is normal, and having, like, such a bad reaction that you maybe feel extremely depressed or suicidal or it's something unbearable. And so that's why I find that group damaging because, you know, if you, like, let's say if you do feel suicidal, very depressed, that's, that's pretty rare. That's really rare. But it does happen. So that people can have a bad reaction from anything. I get a bad reaction from bananas. That's pretty weird. So um, to say no one will ever have a bad reaction from anything, um, I think is very misleading. So um, that's why I don't want people in that group, you know, if they are having a bad reaction, there needs to be some way that you can reach out and not get censored. So um, I'm going to put the got endorphins group down. Uh, that's that's another really big group, and there's no censorship there. So I highly recommend that group. Uh, if you are in the LDN Research Trust group, um, this is nothing 
against you. I just have a problem with the way it's run and that's just me. So I just felt like I had a duty to throw that out there. Um, another thing is with LDN, LDN, a lot of people do take LDN to help with thyroid issues with Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism. And what can happen when you first take LDN is um, if you're hypo or have Hashimoto's, it can swing you into hyper. So you want to be aware of those side effects, which can be irritability, um, like rapid heart rate, anxiety, insomnia, which, sorry, Robin's climbing everywhere, and insomnia. So uh, it's good to get your thyroid tested or to adjust your dose accordingly. And there are different ways to do that. I'll put the Stop the Thyroid Madness link in the description um, because sometimes the tests aren't, uh, there's, there's a lot of controversy on, on the tests that um, doctors do for that. So sometimes you just treat it by symptoms. So like I'll just take a little bit less of my thyroid hormone when I'm adjusting the dose. Uh, okay, <laughs> another thing is that depending on how you're reacting to LDN, there are a lot of things you can do to adjust the dose, the days, or the frequency that you take LDN. So if you're having a reaction you don't like, like if it's um, if it seems to like wear off real, really quick, or if you're not getting much of a reaction at all, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. So a lot of people take it at night, and there's a reason for that. Um, it, it does; It's more in sync with how you release endorphins, but that doesn't mean that it can't be effective in the morning. A lot of people take it in the morning when your insomnia is too bad. So, um, so you can try taking it in the morning instead of at night. Also, you can try doing it twice a day, which is it seems very counterproductive, um, and that should probably be like the last last case like scenario of like something you try but sometimes it does help people I mean you can't you can't really um, ignore like the anecdotal reports of fe people feeling better that way um, so that's that's rare but it does help some people uh, and then also every other day can especially work for people that uh, I like to call it going back to baseline, that they, they take it and they feel like they're getting um, immune to it uh, and building up a tolerance. And so to let your endorphins clear even more, you can take it every other day or some people like skip the weekend and then take it during the weekday. So, I mean, what's great about LDN, there's so many things you can do to play around with it. And also, um, you know, I've, I've said this before, but you can really adjust the dose. Um, it's... It's interesting because the op the optimal dose because that this is where most studies have been done is LDN at 4.5 milligrams and that's as high technically as low dose naltrexone goes. So, um, it, especially if you're sensitive to medication, you can start at a dose as small as 0.1 milligrams. Um, and I'll put a link in the description of how you can do that. Um, I've actually been adjusting my dose lately with distilled water um, and a syringe, so that's been really helpful. Um, but LDN is really great that way, that you can dilute it, and no, it doesn't have to be a 50 milligram tablet that you can dilute. You can dilute um, any kind of capsule, um, and it's, it's really, really easy. You just need a syringe and distilled water and a jar. So the last thing is that um, LDN can take up to one day to work or it can take up to three months so if it's been a week and you don't feel anything I'd stand by and wait a little bit longer it can take three months I've heard six months the longest I've heard is a year so I think um, you know I think that the drug is so great that it's worth it to to wait as long as you can as long as you can afford it and as long as the side effects are so bad that they're intolerable and I did want to say one more thing about the side effects um, because I think you should push through it but I think that the some of the things you shouldn't push through are um, like extreme feelings of depression and suicide because uh, you know if something happens to you then there's no use in taking the LDN if you're not here um, so sorry that that's really dark but that's really true so um, 
the benefit has to somewhat outweigh the risk. So if you feel like you're going to, geez. So if you feel like you're going to harm yourself, then um, yeah, you should stop taking it. And that's also another thing is that you can just cold turkey stop taking LDN because it's non-addictive. So that's definitely a good thing. So I think that's actually, that's it for now. Already talked for about 10 minutes. So uh, I just wanted to get that out there and I will see you guys later. Bye.